Hello and welcome to our second video about the Autodesk TokenFlex licensing model. My name is Oren and um, let me share my screen. Today we're going to speak about the Autodesk TokenFlex implementation. So uh, Autodesk did, actually did a very smart implementation with the Autodesk TokenFlex. Uh, they used the same FlexLM license manager that is already included with the software. User can run multiple license managers in the organization. And he only needs to upload the usage log into the Autodesk network license reporting service. And once uploaded, uh, Autodesk processes the data and provide a consumption consumption report that can be consumed from the website. So why is this uh, model so smart? Because uh, in the future, actually Autodesk can change the model, do a different processing here and provide a consumption, consumption report. So that's a huge benefit. Let's see an example that demonstrates that. So we have a, a user, user A, same in the two uh, sessions. Uh, first time on machine B, on license manager D, and 10 o'clock consumes an Autodesk, AutoCAD license. Uh, after that, the same user using another machine, machine C, uh, another license manager, license manager X, and pulls the same license, AutoCAD. So it's actually a double consumption, same products, two license manager. But once uploaded to the NLRS, um, there is a processing done and the charge will be for only six tokens. So that only demonstrates uh, the model, which is very nice. The user is actually uh, getting unlimited features for anything in the license file. Um, and count is by username. And the user can have multiple license servers because it's typically big organizations and we have the time zone consideration we will talk about in the next videos. So in order to summarize, um, so it's the same license manager, a different in interpretation, very smart. Uh, all your past investment in, utilize, in, in enhancing FlexLM, automation, whatever you have can be still utilized. Um, you can use the allocation capabilities of Autodesk and you can manage in outs in real time. You can't know real-time token consumption if you don't have OpenLM. And uh, you need to predict the number of tokens in advance, which is the downside. On our next video, we will speak about the Autodesk to token flex license and the time zone aspect. So I would like to thank you for joining in today. If you liked it, please click like so we get more views. And I'm looking forward to uh, meeting you again in our next, next video.